What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pie Dog Pop, and Happy Easter! I'm Jenny, and today we're gonna be making some tie-dye Easter eggs. I'm also gonna teach you how to make the most perfect hard-boiled egg, and it works every single time. And remember, kids, to ask your parents for help, because we are gonna be boiling eggs. And now, for the mise en place. That's just a fancy way to say ingredients. You'll need either Cool Whip or shaving cream, vinegar, two spoons, as many eggs as you like, a pot of water, food coloring, and water and ice to make an ice bath. First up, you'll need a pot of cold water. This is important. And then you just put your eggs in. Once you put your eggs in, you wanna bring the water to a boil. All right, the water is to a boil, and now we have to turn off the power, put on a lid, and set a timer for exactly 12 minutes. And while you're waiting for the 12 minutes, you can go ahead and make an ice bath so your eggs don't get a gross green around the yolk. Blech. So I got a bowl of water and a bunch of ice. Let's dump it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we just wait. What should I do? I'm bored. to get your eggs out as fast as you can and into your ice bath. But be gentle, they're fragile. Once all your eggs are in the ice bath, you can wait a little bit for them to cool off. In the meantime, let's clean up and get ready to make tie-dye Easter eggs. So, our eggs are out of the ice bath and we put them in a little bit of vinegar to soften the shell, which will make the eggs look even better when they're colored. This is an optional step, but if you do do it, I would leave them in for about a half hour to an hour. It makes the colors look way better in the end. I also want to point out that the eggs look absolutely amazing in the center. There's absolutely no gross green stuff. So next, we're gonna take the eggs out of the vinegar and put them on something to dry off. For the next step, you're gonna put your cool up in a bowl or a shallow container and start adding your colors. I chose neon colors for mine, so it'll be super bright, hopefully. Okay, so I got some green. A purpley pinkish color. Gotta get stuff all over my hands. Another couple of drops. And then we got a light pink. And our final color is blue. Okay. All right, now we wanna lightly mix it in. I recommend using the back of a spoon or a skewer. This will give it its tie-dye look. Ooh, that looks so cool. Bring it all the way to the bottom. It should give a nice tie-dye effect. So you don't wanna make just one color. Don't mix it that much. Just enough to make it a tie-dye look so it's all swirled and pretty and nice together. Okay. For the last step, you just wanna part, start putting your eggs into the Cool Whip. And you wanna make sure they're completely covered. These are gonna look so awesome. The swirls are just gonna be perfect. Okay, last one. Let's go there. And now I'm gonna use the spoon and cover them all up. Smooth it out. That looks so cool on top. Looks like a rainbow. Okay, perfect. Now we wait. The last time I did a video like this, I was like five, and I got a lot of comments saying that you don't need to wait as long as I said. I said that you had to wait about eight hours. So wait as long as you like, and comment down below how long you waited, and if it turned out good or bad or whatever. See you in a couple of minutes, or hours, or days. All right guys, our eggs turned out absolutely amazing. We took it out of the Cool Whip and we rinsed them off and this is how they turned out. Happy Easter, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below how your eggs turned out and smash that bell icon. Bye! Happy Easter from us.